Well, just days after giving what has been described as a car crash interview on television during which Prince Andrew tried to explain the nature of his former relationship with the late financier Jeffrey Epstein, the prince said on Wednesday in a statement that he would be stepping down from royal duties for the foreseeable future, having obtained his mother the Queen's permission to make this decision. Well, just as Buckingham Palace was issuing one statement on behalf of Prince Andrew, the Queen was actually delivering a speech not far from Buckingham Palace, during which she did not refer to the statement and also did not refer to the controversy that has engulfed the royal family since the course of the weekend. Well, in his statement, uh, Prince Andrew makes clear the impact this has had both on his work and also on his family as well. It has become clear to me, he says in the statement over the last few days, that the circumstances relating to my former association with Jeffrey Epstein has become a major disruption to my family's work and the valuable work going on in many of the organisations and charities that I am proud to support. Well, the Prince every year manages to attract the creme de la creme of the British business establishment to an event that he hosts at the Palace called Pitch at the Palace, one which CNN, including many other news organisations, have filmed and had the chance to talk to him about over the course of the years, including myself. Uh, but many of those businesses recently, after this firestorm of criticism following this interview, have been trying to distance themselves from the prince, including big international accountancy and consultancy firms and some charitable and cultural organisations as well. In the statement, Prince Andrew goes on to talk about the victims of Jeffrey Epstein. I continue to unequivocally regret my ill-judged association with Jeffrey Epstein, he says. His suicide has left many unanswered questions, particularly for his victims, and I deeply sympathise with everyone who has been affected and wants some form of closure. The Prince goes on to say, I am willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency with their investigations if required. CNN's Royal Correspondent Max Foster joins me now from London. So Max, uh, what's the latest on this and how will stepping away from his public duties help Prince Andrew? Well, he really had no choice. I don't think any of this helps Prince Andrew. This has become about helping the institution that he was born into. And it was pretty clear that that interview with the BBC at the weekend didn't just expose him, it exposed the wider monarchy. And the red line was really crossed earlier in the week where there was a general election debate and uh, the main contenders, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn, were asked whether or not the British monarchy is fit for purpose. So the monarchy became part of the election debate, and that meant that this was not just about Prince Andrew. It meant that Prince Andrew's actions had started to damage the monarchy. And that was the red line that he crossed. And there was a crisis meeting yesterday. The Queen was involved. The Prince of Wales, who's in New Zealand at the moment, was involved as well. And the decision was made. By him, that's what the statement says at least, Prince Andrew said that he uh, said he was stepped back from public duties, effectively resigning from his role, and that the Queen agreed to it. And it's extraordinary to think that the Queen actually agreed to this because she, you know, in some quarters is being seen as her getting um, him out of public life and accepting his resignation. So that's a, it's a big moment. She could have said no. He says he wants to do the honourable thing. I think that's his message here today. Right, and there are calls for Prince Andrew to speak to law enforcement. He has said that he will do that if required. That's the critical phrase there, isn't it? So where do things stand on that issue? Well, the investigators haven't asked to question him yet, so that's not actually a thing yet. And I think what he's suggesting is that if that is the case, then he will answer questions. Uh, but there is pressure from um, some of the victim's lawyers for him to make some depositions on their behalf in civil cases, for example. Uh, and we wonder whether or not he'll, he'll start to do that. That's a different kind of question, I think. But certainly putting himself out there and saying he will get involved in any investigations um, is important. He's trying to do the best thing now. Uh, it was interesting, the statement yesterday, he really expressed regret for his relationship with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. He expressed sympathy for the victims of um, Jeffrey Epstein. These were two things which were noticeably absent from his BBC interview, and that was his big failure. Now, in his statement, he's trying to address that, but it's simply too little or too late. He is no longer a functioning member of the public royal family. He'll have to give up his public funds because he's not carrying out a public role. So his career is pretty much over 
what is important now is for the Queen and Prince Charles and Prince William to try to rebuild from this their very strong position that they were in previous to this.